two marriage seminars, very different. The first was in Nairobi with lots of people and traffic, buses, noise. <laughs> Nairobi has a lot of modern buildings as well as some very old ones. This old church, very well established right in the center of Nairobi is where we had the marriage seminar. It was just an exciting time uh, with the nice gardens there and the nice facilities. We met up with 30 key pastors and their wives. Welcome, welcome. The second marriage seminar was very different because it was held out of nowhere. This seminar's location was distinguished by these odd rocks. People would come far to see, but people walked long ways. I couldn't find their villages. They just walked along these roads to come to the seminar. Reverend Matthew of Scripture Union oversaw the Nairobi marriage seminar. He made sure there was very interesting discussions among the sisters, the brothers, the pastors here. Uh, they would each come up with uh, different ideas of how the other spouse might be able to improve their marriage. Uh, they each took their turns uh, as a leader in the group, sharing anonymously uh, how a husband or wife could be better. Let me, you don't find time to talk with your wife, to talk with your kids. Your kids know you as a pastor and not a pastor. So he even had a fun time where the husband and wives had to exchange shoes. be able to grow, be able to uh, develop. There's a purpose overall, of course, to glorify God, to reflect the glory of his love and unity, peace, and joy to others. There was a lot of good interchange, meals together, nice scenery that was there around the old church, as well as special time that husbands and wives could talk together about the things they were learning. Overall, the seminar went wonderful. A lot of openness, discussion. They said that they never had a discussion and teaching on marriage before. Appreciate the special time. I could work with Reverend Matthew teaching this marriage seminar there in Nairobi. The marriage seminar out in Kasumu was out in the fields. And up to though many hundreds of people, up to 500, came one day. They came from everywhere, settled under these four or five tents, coming to the field. I have loudspeakers, and it was just a very special, powerful time that God spoke to the hearts of people about marriage. He's going to stretch his hands and touch that marriage that is going to be healed. There were powerful testimonies. Uh, they were starting to do it the very second day, early in the morning, even before I got there. On that very subject that defeated me, and now it has been lined. Uh, the place where I was blinded, right now I can see. And I know my house will stand very straight. I don't have other assumptions. During the seminar, I mentioned how important the marriage was in teaching us the truths of God. And here, at the very end, we see many coming to know the Lord. Amen. 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 They have never heard about marriage, and they had broken marriages, broken families, broken hearts, and they were just radically changed. My heart and their heart was really moved by the Spirit of God. I give thanks and praise to Him. It was an honor to work with Reverend Morris and the Mana Ministries here in Kasumu and later in Bondo to see God powerfully work in the hearts of people. When they heard the biblical teachings of marriage, they were changed. They wanted to hear more. They wanted to live that out. We saw it through testimonies. We saw it through people coming to know the Lord. Thank you so much for your support.
prayer, financial, otherwise, that we could have this ministry in Kenya this year, speaking to those, the biblical truth of marriage, who have never heard these teachings before. They were changed. Many were saved. I give thanks to the Lord. Yeah.